So what I wanted to do today is shoot a quick video for you and, and talk about the most commonly injured tendon and muscle in the shoulder, okay? And that muscle is one of the rotator cuff muscles and it's called the supraspinatus muscle, okay? Your rotator cuff is actually a series of four muscles and their main job is to help hold the joint in place during movement. So the, the way the joint plane in the shoulder is um, and the, the joints come together, gravity really wants to pull it out of the socket. And it's the rotator cuff's job to just kind of help hold it in the socket. Now the rotator cuff muscles do help initiate some of the movement of the shoulder as well, but their main job is to help hold it in the socket. So. Um, the supraspinatus muscle I'm going to show you here on uh, uh, a model of the shoulder. So this is the model of the shoulder. We have our shoulder blade in the back, we have collarbone coming across in the front, and then we have the, the arm bone coming down the side. The supraspinatus muscle actually um, attaches from the shoulder blade uh, right in this groove on the top of the shoulder blade. And then the tendon runs through this hole underneath the collarbone and attaches out onto the tip of the shoulder, typically kind of out in through here, okay? So again, its main job is to just help hold the, help hold the joint in place um, during movement, okay? It does initiate some of the movement, um, but to help hold it in place, okay? So, how do we test for a supraspinatus injury or tear? Well, we in the clinic, a lot of times we'll do the drop arm test. And I wanted to try this at home right now. So what you're gonna do, is you're just gonna take your arm, thumb up, and you're gonna raise it out up over your head, okay? And then you're gonna come back down as slow as you can, okay? All the way down to your side. When you do the test, start at your side, work your way up slowly, and then you're going to come back down slowly, okay? Now the test is positive, meaning um, you have an injury or maybe some damage to that, to that supraspinatus muscle or tendon. If you have any severe pain with raising up or on the way down, okay? The other positive uh, indication you can have on this test is if on the way down, you just don't have enough strength or there's severe pain and the arm falls to your side, okay? Hence the reason we call it the drop arm test, okay? So did you test positive? Well, um, in the next video, I'm gonna talk about the severity of, of damage to that tendon. We usually grade it in three different grades, grade one, two, and three, and I'm gonna talk about those grades and how you can help heal uh, a supraspinatus or a rotator cuff injury. So I look forward to seeing you at the workshop and look for my next video in the next couple days or so.